what's going on boys and girls it's your boy Jetty um, like I promised on my last video I am going to be bringing you guys a build for my uh, PvP arena um, spear hatchet um, so let's just go ahead and dive straight into it um, before I start let me just say that um, this is a build that is mostly for 3v3 arenas um, for my world PvP and my wars I actually make a lot of changes to my strat, stat distribution uh, my weapon mastery and my gear um, so I mean you can you can still have this build work for those other two but um, I recommend heavily uh, this build to be for uh, 3v3 arena mostly so um, anyways I like to run um, this stat distribution this has been working a lot for me lately um, the way I do my food it depends whether I need to be a little more beefy uh, on a build on a, on a match if it's like three triple DPS and they're uh, you know uh, chasing me down I like to um, you know pop the 40 con here um, but if the team needs me to bring extra damage uh, I usually go for the uh, 40 uh, 40 strength um, so for my weapons let me just say that um, the way I like to run my build is I'm all about uh, bringing a lot of debuffs um, you know to my enemies um, giving uh, the other big DPS guy in my team giving him a chance to you know be able to amplify his damage and also um, giving a lots of healing reduction so that the you know it's harder for the enemy uh, to do to, to you know to heal them up and um, you know bring lots of control so with that said uh, you know this is how I run my uh, hatchet I'm not a, I'm not big on on you know having the hatchet as uh, my main weapon um, so I usually dumps abilities on my hatchet and then I swip, swap to my uh, spear uh, because that's where most of my uh, damage debuff and control comes from uh, but let's not let's not overlook uh, this ability here this is huge uh, this ability is going to get fixed in the upcoming patch and um, the value that it brings to the arena it's it just gets amplified when you use it right um, it's big for setting up kills um, it applies two debuffs um, and it's getting it's getting a big big buff uh, in the upcoming um, upcoming patch so don't overlook it I know it's a slow cast but um, if you guys were thinking about running this build I will start getting used to this ability um, the berserker uh, even though most of the hatchet uh, users um, have the berserker for like you know uh, setting up damage and whatnot I like to use the berserker uh, defensively for the most part um, in my team I'm always the guy that is trying to be up at the front and you know trying to draw the attention of the other three players um, so a lot of the times, um, especially with like Void and Ice users out there in uh, Warhammers, uh, whenever they try to set up a kill on me, I like to, you know, just pop up Berserk, immune, immune stuff. And then, you know, with the constant grid, it's really hard for other people to, you know, s stay on top of me. Um, so that's my hatchet. And for the spear, um, before I talk about the impeller tree, uh, the only reason why I go with this um, three points here is because of this ability. Um, you are always dodging. Um, and so, you know, having uh, ways to improve your stamina management is huge. And because of the, uh, because of the way that you can uh, stack crit uh, with, your, um, with your spear, it ends up working really well. Uh, with this perk here um, you know you have low cooldown on your spear so you're always going to be spamming your abilities if you if you use them right um, and so you know if you run this the perk for this ability which I don't at the moment but I plan to in the future um, you know you are going to be doing constant crits 
and um, you know this this is going to be huge for your ener energy management and it's just going to give you that ability to stay uh, you know away from danger and uh, you know roll away whenever people are trying to set up kills on you and whatnot um, this ability here is huge if you um, mix it with this perk here um, if you're critting a lot and you happen to land a crit uh, with this ability uh, you get an empower um, 20% empower and if you let's see where is it here if your enemy is below 20 uh, 50 percent you also get a 20 percent in power so if you get to combine these two this is huge plus the you know if you're you're always going to be stacking uh three debuffs on your enemy so this is this is just a given all right and with the rend if you if you with the perforate if you if you're running the um the perk uh you're going to get both benefits out of this ability you're going to be able to put a big ren on your enemy and at the same time you're going to be able to put a big fortify on yourself um, and this ability has like an 11 second cooldown but if you're always dodging and you're mixing it with this ability you're going to be able to perforate like every five seconds um so yeah that's that um for gear um well my, my gear is not that great um but you know it works so um uh, if i could just highlight something um you know you want to stack at at a bare minimum you want to stack four resilience and you want to have um the shirking energy um that's a must also you want to have um fortify and perforate and enfeebling skewer so that you can get that double debuff application when you land the ability um and again this is this this right here this this perk right here is going to be huge uh in the upcoming patch because if you have it on your weapon which i do at the moment it's gonna have um you know like a 44 percent or so um and then just think about you know the damage that you're gonna do to the opposite team if you know you you're gonna disable you know one of their DPSs by a 50%, and that's also probably gonna stack uh, with the uh, enfeebling uh, from the uh, hatchet infected throw as well. So that's you know that's that's gonna be huge. Um, but anyway, so here's my gear. Um, you know I'm I'm broke and all I do is PVP, so I never make any money. And um, I don't run any PD, I don't run any dungeons. Um, I hate doing that, so that's not what I'm about. So, you know, most of my gear, this is what I've gotten from, um, you know, the tracks. And um, this helmet here, I've had this forever. Uh, this is something that somebody donated to me. So, uh, you know, I might actually, one thing that I might do in the future is uh, since I don't need five resilient, I would probably just use shirking energy on this one and then uh, also put the fortify and perforate up here um so that's gonna you know probably allow me to stack another shirking heels in uh, in my headpiece because you know why not um so for my jewelry i like to run uh divine and health um this is just a ring I got, I don't really, I'm really, where, what I'm doing for right now is I'm, I'm waiting for the champion ring. Um, because, you know, I need that. I think it's Biz. Um, and the earring, this one is actually really good because, um, like I said, you know, I'm always, I'm always the guy that's up in front trying to, uh, you know, absorb all the damage. But I'm not built to take damage. I'm very squishy. So these two perks here um allow me to get constant heals from my pod and also uh heals you know a quick heal from uh my mana potions which is also on a, a low cooldown so you know if i like pop it's only a 10 second heal um and if you combine that with the uh shirking heals um you know that's that's like a 2k plus heal uh, every every five to ten seconds so that's that's huge um 
So yeah, I mean, that's what I run. Uh, let me just let you guys take a look at my spear and my hatchet. I'm still, I'm still deciding on what I'm going to do with the hatchet. Um, you know, I got this hatchet here, which I'm leveling. Um, but just want to say real quick that um, probably once the patch drops, I am going to be dropping this ability and picking this one up. Because I know that there's a perk that gives you a 30% damage increase uh, if you put it on your weapon. Um, if you have an enemy with a rending throw, then the perk allows you to uh, do a 30% increased damage on any of your throwing hatchet uh, abilities or auto attacks. So I think that um, that's going to be huge. So I'm probably going to be looking for a hatchet with uh, that perk. In the upcoming patch and i'm going to be doing some testing so we'll see how that goes um but yeah i mean that's that's about it um you guys let me know if you need any more information is if something doesn't make any sense um you know just ask me questions and i'll be happy to answer them all right boys you all take care be safe thanks for watching peace first mate shadow like pico and earthquake the body ever with my work rate these cursed blades to do me you also a worse fate